Those who've lost and loved pets know it can be one of the hardest things in life. That's why an animal clinic here in Lincoln partners with the Arbor Day Foundation, putting together a way to remember a pet and help the environment at the same time. 1011 Now John Grinvold has more on this story. John? I'm standing in Lincoln's Roper Park dog run just north of Cornhusker Highway. As you can see right behind me, there's this recently planted tree put there by the Arbor Day Foundation. That same group runs the Trees for Pets program, which celebrates free friends like the ones running behind me right now. It's never easy saying goodbye to a best friend. She taught me so much about love and life. That's Mandy Muller, a vet assistant at Ehlers Animal Clinic. And not so long ago, she had to say goodbye to Macy, a lifelong companion. Her health started to decline a lot. And um, when it was ultimately time to let her go, um, I was working with a couple of the veterinarians here. Fortunately for Mandy and so many other pet owners facing the death of a pet, Ehlers makes sure its clients have something to remember them by. The clinic partners with the Arbor Day Foundation to make sure every pet that passes in Ehlers' care has the chance to get a tree planted in its honor. Anyone that's had a dog or a cat knows that that relationship is like no human relationship. It's different. And each one is something that people want to remember. Ehlers has partnered with Arbor Day for 11 years now, helping to plant about 2,500 trees in national forests across the country. The Arbor Day Foundation partners with workers in those forests and gives people some say in deciding where their pet's tree is planted. And so it's been really, really cool to be able to kind of manage this program and watch it grow and just see the impact both on the clients, on our vet partners, and also um, in our forests in need. The pet owners get a card telling them about the tree that was planted and what park it's in. Come on, little sunshine. Mandy says there's no way to fill the void left behind by Macy. But this program offers a little bit of closure. It's a neat way to um, have your pet live on even after you've lost them. Um, just knowing that there's something out there doing good um, when um, your pet can't be with you any longer. But death doesn't need to be the only occasion for planting. You can do it to celebrate your pet or to honor a recent adoption. You can find out more how to do that at 1011now.com. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011now.